so um, we are left with two electrons here and then we are left with two electrons here yeah so if I count the total number of electrons on both nitrogen atoms now so for the one on the right one two three four five six seven and eight complete one and then for for, for the one on the left one two three four five six seven and eight complete again so you can see that in each case we have completed the octate so uh, this is correct the dot and cross diagram is correct this is a triple bond because three pairs of electrons have been shared triple bond yeah nitrogen triple bond now one thing uh, before we move to the next topic what you need to know is that uh, these are called bonded pairs of electrons because you can see that there are, three, there are three bonded pairs of electrons so we can say BP bonding pairs and then the ones that are left they are called lone pairs so you can see that each nitrogen atoms have one lone pair because one and two one pair one and two one pair so they are called lone pairs of electrons so you should remember bonding pairs and lone pairs because we are going to use this when we go forward okay so bonding pairs and lone pairs okay so this is basically covalent bonding so it can also happen between non-metals of different elements like uh, it can happen between hydrogen and chlorine now before we do that let's do something called electronegativity and bond polarity so we were talking about the bond between hydrogen and chlorine right hydrogen very small atom and chlorine so hydrogen has one electron in its outermost shell chlorine has seven so they will they will have one covalent bond a single covalent bond so now hydrogen will have two you know that hydrogen only has one shell so its first shell is complete because you know that on in the first shell there can only be a maximum of two electrons so when it shares an electron with chlorine its first shell is complete and chlorine and chlorine is also complete because the outermost shell of chlorine has eight electrons so this is HCl it's a single bond between hydrogen and chlorine you can see that so hydrochloric acid you know this very well very famous so now the thing is there is something called electronegativity okay electronegativity so electronegativity is the extent to which an atom covalently bonded to another atom attracts the bonded pairs of electrons so actually the thing is that these bonded pairs of electrons they are not equally shared between the two covalently bonded atoms always like for example if we have a chlorine bonded to another chlorine then they are equally shared because it's the same atom so they are equally shared however if you have a hydrogen bonded to a chlorine the electron the bonded pair of electrons is not equally shared between the two atoms because of the difference in electronegativities so basically electronegativity is the ability of one of these covalently bonded atoms to attract the, the bonded pair of electrons now chlorine is much more electronegative than hydrogen Chlorine is much more electronegative than hydrogen and we know this because chlorine forms Cl negative ions much more readily than hydrogen forms H negative ions okay because hydrogen can also lose electrons so hydrogen readily forms H plus ions rather than H negative ions so chlorine is much more electronegative than hydrogen and for this reason it will pull the electrons the bonded pair of electrons toward itself so we represent this like this we make two electrons and we draw an arrow towards the electronegative atom this is how we represent electronegativity you will not have to draw it in your papers so don't look at this however now because the chlorine is pulling the bonded pair of electrons towards itself it will have a partial negative charge we call it a delta negative charge it's not a negative charge like the negative charge on the chloride ion it's a partial negative charge and because this has a partial negative charge the hydrogen is left with a partial positive charge so this is actually called a dipole a dipole means two poles one is a positive pole and one is a negative pole so dipole and a dipole is basically uh, a dipole basically occurs because of this difference in electronegativity 
Now this bond is said to be a polar bond and it's said to be a polar bond because we have